Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Excuse me. Obviously, as you saw in the title, it's pretty obvious what we're going to be talking right about into the video and as you can see, my boyfriend is getting deployed. And actually, he technically is not it's not called being deployed, like he's not getting deployed. It's actually called a short tour, and a short tour is when you go for a year in the military. But I just put my boyfriend's getting deployed because so you guys can be like relate it and understand it because I didn't even know what a short tour was until he told me. Devin told me about two weeks ago and we've been together for two years. If Our two year anniversary just passed and it was really a big shock for us because he wasn't on the next on the list to go. I'm not gonna say obviously where he's going. Where he's going he'll be safe. Where he's going he'll be safe. And it's just something that unexpected happened and a lot of changes are happening because of it. Um, not necessarily negative changes, just a lot of different things. And it's really hard for both of us. It's really bittersweet and it's really upsetting, you know, because he is leaving for a year. And it's just hard because... Yeah, no, I'm in school right now and I I can't go with him. Even if I was married, I couldn't go with him. So kind of is still like a deployment. You know, he can't take Shiva. So obviously it's going to be, you know, a challenge and it's going to be hard at times for me. And it's hard for school, you know, like he's the person, you know, that is there for me when I have like my breakdowns or when I'm upset or anything that's going on stress and it's just hard that he won't be there for that I mean I'll be able to talk to him and stuff but physically he won't be there and I'll be here I'm not sure if I'll be living in this apartment <laughs> I might be moving once again and you know, it's just tough. There's a lot of different things that we have to discuss. We're really trying to look at it as a positive thing. You know, that's the only way I'm going to get through this is us looking at the positive perspective and being positive for each other. Uh, sorry guys, emotional. We just found that out two weeks ago and he leaves in October. I didn't say that. So he's leaving in October. So thankfully it's not within a month that we have to get ready. I would not know how I would handle that. So at least we have time to figure things out and whatever. I am switching into the acupuncture program right now. I'm in acupuncture and herbs, those of you who don't know me. And that was like one of the reasons why it was hard f like for my relationship because he's in the military and obviously they can move him whenever unexpectedly and send him somewhere and I'm in school and not finished. And that is a priority for me. My career is my priority so that I could start working. And with the acupuncture and herbs, I still had three years to go, including this year. It's a kind of a blessing in disguise that he has the short tour versus leaving for three years. It's no, definitely a blessing in disguise because I'm switching in. I've switched into the acupuncture program. And so I'll graduate by next year, uh, the fall 2019. Which is great because I've actually wanted to start working anyway. I wish I initially started in the acupuncture program. Not sure whether or not I will be doing the herb program after that because it just depends where our next destination is. We do get to select certain places. He gets like top selection but doesn't necessarily mean they will still pick one of those. But at least they will consider now in a couple of weeks where we'll be going. Um... So there's definitely positive things and things that we could look at wherever we go. We can, you know, I could start making like a bucket list and stuff. It's just, obviously I'm an emotional person, but it's still emotional, emotional for, you know, anybody in a relationship. Uh, you know, we've been together for two years and now we're getting separated for a year. I will be able to meet him somewhere to like see him and he'll be able to come home, which is good. But it's still, you know, he's still not going to be around day to day and whatnot and it's just hard too because I'm in school and most of my family's in New York you know I have a couple people here 
but it's it's not the same so yeah it's definitely going to be a challenging thing but we're definitely you know at least i'm trying to look at the positives and i'm obviously going to have my moments like i'm having right now but i just wanted to express to you guys like what's going on and that you don't think that like i'm not doing the challenge anymore those of you of you who are following me and just, you know, to be real, what's going on in real life, because we're humans and this is real life, especially for military people. Definitely, you know, looking at the positives in that situation and enjoying the time that we have, and I think it will, you know, build us a stronger bond. There's just a lot of decisions to make that I'm really not going to talk about here right now. But, you know, one of them is an apartment, whether I'm going to keep that, and paying certain bills, because I'm in school and work and what am I going to do for that and just different things uh, sorry if I'm rambling it's just this is just a lot going on and a lot of things that I have to take care of just alone with school to graduate in a year there's three different boards that I will have to take each board is about three hundred dollars to like start saving up money for that and then I have to take CPR this year again, and I have to take a CNT. It's a clean needle technique class in January or February next year, which is 150 bucks. So there's just a lot of different steps that I have to do. I also have to, you know, do 30 hours of volunteer work. And for me to graduate on time next year with the acupuncture, I have to load my semester. So that's stressful, you know, like that's a lot of classes. That's about six to seven classes a semester that I will have to take to graduate on time next year so that I could go to debt with Devin for wherever we're going next. I am thankful though that you know it's just a year and not three years because that would have not been good. So I am thankful for that. I, I think that everything is falling into place and whatever goes on it will happen in the right way you know the initial shock i thought like my world was ended not like literally but it's just a lot of shock and load to take on and to process it i would say it took me like a us a week to process it now it's better and you know there's certain things that pop up I'm not too sure what what's gonna happen what certain things just you know trying to take it day by day and going with the flow that's all you really can do and it's kind of like life in general like it teaching teaches you in life to go things with the flow or just to enjoy things when they're the same and not always want new things because he is leaving and I'm really upset about that you know that's my boyfriend my my, my love life my significant other and he's leaving but it's also a good thing because it gives me you know space for a year I could grow our relationship stronger but it, it's sad, and it's sad because he doesn't get to take Shiva with him. I have Fluffy too, at least he could have one animal. But he won't have that. I mean, you know, it's hard. It, it's sad. I'm going through with strength, and hopefully everything will just work out, which I believe it will. I believe everything happens for a reason. That doesn't mean that things aren't hard, or things can be emotional, or whatever it is that I'm trying to say. That is just an update of what's going on in my life and I hopefully this can help other military people relationships or vice versa. Um, not too sure how that works but I just wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on in my life and again this is a journey so you guys could come the journey along with me. I don't know what else to say. The cool thing about the military is that we get to travel and traveling is definitely on my to-do list. So I'm excited to see where we're gonna be going next and I can't wait to tell you guys where we'll be going and that will also help too because I can you know start making a bucket list or we could start discussing like different ways to different things that we could do there and what are we going to do and that could just help make the time go by faster and a year isn't uh too long you know i i can't believe it's already march but uh when you don't have that person around you'll definitely notice it obviously so so i'll go see you guys in my next video namaste the light in me honors the light in you if you guys have any questions about it Leave comments down below and I'll be sure to answer them for you. Hi guys and welcome to the Poisson channel.